changes. But just what and who can deliver solutions to our struggling economy? Economic recovery, taxes, jobs. There is a great divide between candidates, Obama and Romney, over what would be best for Americans. Money experts Gene Marks and Elliot Miller are here to help us understand where the candidates stand on the flow of cash in and out of our wallets. Thanks for joining us tonight, gentlemen. Hey, Joyce. Thanks, Joyce. Hey, now, who should be taxed, how much, and why? Obama and Romney, they couldn't be farther apart. Now, Gene, you take Romney. Elliot, you take Obama. You okay. got it, Joyce. So, you know, let, let me give you, uh, you know, Governor Romney's position, right? I mean, he looks at, at low taxes, keeping the tax rates as low as possible, uh, and extending uh, Bush tax cuts for as long as possible, even not making it permanent. I mean, here's the reason why. He looks at people that are even making more than $250,000 a year and says, hey, look, the less taxes that you pay, the more money that you have in your pockets, you will then buy stuff and travel and invest and hire more employees and that will grow the economy. And that differs significantly than what Pre President Obama is proposing. Yeah, and President Obama is proposing that we increase tax rates back to the Clinton era numbers for the people that earn $250,000 or more. Now just a little history rather than theory, uh, under Clinton uh, the rates were raised early in his, his tenure and he created 23 million jobs which is still the all-time record for any president. Under the last President Bush he decreased tax rates and only 3 million jobs were created which is a very abysmal record. So yes, I don't believe tax rates are the answer for everything, but we do need to attack the deficit. Neither candidate has addressed that. We also have to say one thing, Joyce, that when, when Elliot says that like Clinton was increasing all these jobs, I mean, don't forget during that time there was the dot-com boom and things That's that true. Clinton wasn't even responsible for that did contribute to all those jobs being added. So it really might have had nothing to do with taxes at all. Correct. I agree with that. But we're also in a time of an economic downturn that we haven't seen since the Great Depression. Am I correct on that? That's true. We, we have uh, the biggest downturn since the Great Depression. Some could say that, um, you know, if it was caused by the housing boom and then bust and a lack of regulation o over the people that did it, um, you know, that's something that really started during the Clinton years and then continued even more so during the Bush years. So, so let's move on a little bit. We hear a lot of claims about who are the real job creators, but there's outrage over this outsourcing, including yeah. Olympic uniforms made in China. Where will these American jobs come in America? Look, Where I mean, are they gonna come from? Uh, Elliot, you first. Uh, yeah, I, I, I uh, you know, first of all, that's a big uh, mess up. They, they really should have made the, uh, the uniforms American made. However, housing looks like it's bottoming. Auto sales have been very strong all year. Retail sales have been pretty good. And I think we'll get continued improvement with education and healthcare. I expect that the last three months where the job creation slowed down will start to turn around again in the next few months. I, I do also have to say, Joyce, that uh, as a business owner, myself, I am more than happy to create jobs and hire more people when the need is there and the economy is growing. Uh, and look, like Steve Jobs at Apple, though, when I hire people and I need work done, I'm going to try and get it done as cheaply as I possibly can because we are in business to make a profit. So if the work is being done because benefits are lower or the costs are lower overseas, I don't know if I can really fault business owners for doing that because they're trying to produce cheap products or cheaper products so consumers can go out and buy them at a good price. But All American right. manufacturing really has gotten more competitive in the last few years. All we right. Well, you know what? Whichever plan may work, we've got a stalemate in Washington that has to be solved first before we're going to get anywhere, right? That's true. I mean, I mean, what you see is, is a lot of attack ads now because they work. People would rather tell you why you shouldn't vote for the other guy than why you should vote for them. Um, and, and it's a problem. I mean, this Congress has tried to repeal that. Obamacare 33 times. It hasn't worked yet. A lot of speeches, but not a lot of uh, solutions. All right, gentlemen, I wish we had more time. Pretty lively discussion tonight. Gene Marks, Elliot Miller, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next week, huh? Thanks, yeah. Joyce. All right. An incredible reunion between a family and their missing daughter.